only thing that surprises me is it took so long. You know, for many, many years, there were only three or four breweries in Tucson. And uh, so it's only been in the last five or so year, five, six years that, that we've seen, seen it grow in Tucson. I've been brewing in Tucson since uh, 1997 when we opened uh, the original location at the Foothills Mall. Well, at the time, uh, there were only a half a dozen or so breweries in the state. I mean, you could get everybody around a table. My name is Dennis Arnold. I'm the founder and uh, master brewer at Barrio Brewing Company, uh, originally Gentle Bend Brewing Company. 26 years ago, uh, May 1st, I think is when we first opened and started selling beer uh, to Tucsonans. Well, we have blondes, we have massive IPAs, we have 10% uh, uh, mocha java stouts. We kind of fill the bill. We've never formed a business plan. We've never done projections. This, this place alone here, every day we walked in and said, well, what do you want to do now? The craft beer market's changed dramatically over the years. I mean, back in 97, you could, couldn't give away an IPA, and now we keep three of them on tap all the time because they're so popular. We were able to, to purchase a building downtown uh, in 2011. Uh, it has more space than the mall location, so it made sense to, at some point, move the brewery uh, to the downtown location. We've, we've doubled our capacity since we started. Um, you know, now we'll, we'll brew about 2,500 barrels this year. Uh, we're moving into packaging later this year, so you'll see our beer in cans. Also, our spirits, rum, uh, single malt, uh, uh, honey shine made from some local honey. We're right around 12,000 barrels a year right now in production. Um, bigger than I thought that we would get, but I think that we can go a little bit more. I had a long conversation this weekend with a lot of brewers going, are you going to go out of state? And that's a big no. My rule is that if you can put a six pack in your car and drive, as long as it's still of a drinkable temperature, that's as far as you want it, your beer to go. No California, no New Mexico, no Nevada, no Texas, nothing. I've always considered myself my own competition because I can only do as good as I can do. So there's a lot of people that want to jump out and say, what's the other guy doing? But we just keep going along. We're very fortunate in that we're the oldest in Arizona. And as breweries have stacked into Phoenix is 50 or 60 now, Tucson has 20. We don't get distracted on what the other guy's doing. Well, it's great to see what's happening, uh, you know, in, in craft brewing in, in, you know, in Tucson in particular, in the state in general. New breweries opening up all the time. We don't even look at it as, as, as competition because uh, they think there's plenty of room for, for more craft breweries and craft beer in, in the Tucson area. Especially in Tucson. I was born and raised here. And there's a reason that Tucson Blonde is the number one selling blonde in Arizona. Give people what they want and then tease them up the road. I'm not going to get somebody who's a uh, Bud Light drinker to start dropping a double IPA. Uh, like going, whoa, I never knew. There's these paths. And once those paths start, I don't think you can backtrack. One of the things that I think we're seeing in Tucson is the use of local ingredients and like very local ingredients in, in beer and, and also, you know, in our case, in the spirits as well. It's been a lot of fun, um, you know, exploring some of the local ingredients that we never even really considered for beers. It's been a challenge, but it's been a lot of fun. I think there's been a lot of great beer at these events. I know what I want to do. I want to make beer. And because if you make beer, you're like you drink beer for free for the rest of your life. It's a simple business plan, but it kind of worked. We work all day long in the brewery, and then um, you know, and then you know, we, we step out into the bar area in the restaurant, and we see people enjoying what we've been working hard on all day long. So it's it's a great business to be in. I absolutely love it.